What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at deleting items from our database with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at deleting things in the database. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, it's all my courses, videos, and books. One time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our app here. In the last video, we updated our events so we can update all this stuff. In this video, we want to delete events and also venues too. If we have a venue we want to delete, we want to look at that as well. So this is pretty straightforward, it shouldn't take very long, but it's an important part of CRUD, create, read, update, and destroy, which sort of handles all database things in the world. Think of any website you've ever been to, it's always based on CRUD. You know, Twitter, you create a post, you read a post, you can you update a post on Twitter? Guess not, uh, but you could delete a post. Uh, same thing with Facebook, same thing with Instagram, same thing with every website ever, CRUD. And so delete is sort of the last thing we have to look at in that sort of acronym. So, okay, let's head back over to our code. And I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code for this video and all the videos in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django Wednesday videos. So anytime we're dealing with sort of anything in Django, it's usually a three-step process. Whenever we're creating something, we need a page, you know, a template file of some sort, we need a view, and we need a URL. Now, in this particular case, we don't actually need a page because we're not gonna send it to another page, but we do sort of pretend like there's a page. So we'll redirect back to the list events page or the list venues page, so we don't need an actual template file, but we still need a view and a URL as if there was one. So. Let's head over to our urls.py file and let's just come down here, make sure there's a comma at the end of the last one and let's create a new path. And let's just call this one, I don't know, delete underscore event. We're gonna start out deleting an event. And just like when we edited our things, you know, we need to pass in an ID number so we know which one to delete, right? So same thing here, we can actually just even copy this. We wanna pass in the event ID. And now we wanna point this to a view. So let's go views dot delete underscore event, and we haven't created that yet, but we will in a second. And let's set the name equal to delete dash event. So, okay, slap a comma on there. So we've got our URL, now we need this view. So let me just sort of copy this, save this file, control S, and let's head over to our views.py file, and let's say delete an event. And so we need to define delete event and we need to pass in the request, and we need to pass in the event ID. And if you remember, down when we edited this thing, or updated it, we also had to pass in this event ID. So the same thing here, we need to decide which one we're going to delete, and that's gonna be this event ID. So in order to delete it, we need to look it up first and sort of designate it. So we can use this exact same line of code. So let's just head back up here. And inside of this guy, let's define our event. This is the one we want to delete. And I kid you not, in order to delete this, we just call event.delete. Just that easy, boom, that will do it. Now all we have to do is sort of redirect back to wherever we want to redirect after this thing gets deleted. We could send this to its own page and say this event has been deleted, or we could just redirect it back to that same page, the list events page, and then maybe later we'll add messages, so we'll flash up a little message on the screen that says, your event has been deleted or whatever. We'll probably look at that in the next video. Uh, but for now, let's just let's just return, redirect, and we want to redirect back to our list-events page. And we did this same sort of thing right here. So we're doing the same thing. We need to have redirect imported. And remember up here at the top, we've already imported it right there so we can use it. And that's really all there is to it. This should do the trick. So. We're almost done, now we need an actual link. So if we head back over to our page, we've got this update events button, we need a delete button, right? So let's, right next to it, let's put a delete button. So we can head back over to our templates slash events and find our, let's see, what is it called? Event list.html page. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we see that URL for that button. So I'm just gonna copy this guy, paste another one. Instead of update event, let's call this delete event. And instead of creating this secondary, let's call it danger. Because if you remember our bootstrap buttons, red is danger, uh, secondary is gray. And that's sort of this gray color we have here. I want red for delete because I want it to stand out like dangerously, like ah, delete. 
you know, danger, stop. Uh, later, we might put a little like JavaScript thing that pops up when you click it. This is, are you sure you, you know, we'll look at that later. For this video, we just want to get the functionality of this thing built in. So, okay. Now, instead of calling update event, we want to call delete event. We still want to pass the event ID because we need to know which event we're deleting, right? That event ID right here that gets passed in will ultimately get passed in as this event ID, which then gets passed in as the primary key that allows us to look up the event in the database and then boom, delete it. So, all right, let's see, that's delete dash event. Now, why are we calling this delete event? Because in our urls.py file here at the end, we called this delete dash event. That's what we named it. So that's what we reference right here. So delete event there, pass the ID, call that, make it red. Okay, I think that should do it. So let's save this, head back over to our site, hit reload, and boom, now we have this nice little red outlined button. And if we come down here, first let's create one, let's add an event, and let's call this test event, and the date is gonna be 2021 dash 0505. Now, the menu will be that, the manager that. This is a test. Let's create this guy. Boom, submitted successfully. Let's head back over here and look. And there it is, our test event, May 5th. Hey, it's May 5th today. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Let's delete this guy. Boom, redirect back here. It's now gone. May 5th, this is April 23rd, that's not May 5th, so it's been deleted. Now, this will work better if we have a little message that pops up, and we should probably do that. We'll look at messages in the next video, it's pretty simple, but in this video, I just wanna focus on deleting these things. Now, that worked just fine for our events. Let's head over to our venues. Maybe we wanna do the same thing for our venues. So, we can do that. Let's head back over here to our, let's see, urls.py file. And I'm just gonna kind of cheat here and copy this whole thing. And instead of delete event, let's delete venue. And instead of delete event, let's delete venue. And instead of passing the event ID, let's pass the venue ID, though it's arbitrary. You could put pizza ID down and it would still work. But we wanna name it the way it kind of looks. This is a venue, so we'll use venue ID, that makes sense. And then in here, instead of delete event, let's delete Boom, venue. It's always a little tricky when you're copying and pasting like this. So there's a good chance we're gonna mess something up here, but I think that looks good. So now we head over to the views and I'm just going to copy this whole thing and delete a venue. And let's call this delete venue. Let's pass in the venue ID. Let's name this venue. And this is gonna be a venue object and this is gonna be the venue ID. And same thing here, we want a venue.delete, and we're getting this venue object because up here, we imported the venue. Just like for this event object, we imported the event up here earlier, so that's already there, we don't have to do it again. Venue delete, and now we want to delete, or now we wanna to redirect to list events, that's not right. Uh, let's look at our urls.py file. Let's see, list venues, let's call this the list list venues thing. So instead of a list events, we wanna pass it to list venues. So, okay, let's go ahead and save that. Now, what page is this? We want it right here on this list venues page. So let's find that guy. It's gonna be in our templates events, and then let's see, venue.html maybe? Yeah, this looks about right. So we could copy this link paste in another one. This is gonna be delete venue, venue ID. And instead of update, let's say delete. And again, let's make this a danger button. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Boy, we did that fast. Hopefully we didn't make a mistake. All right, that looks good. Here we have tester venue. So let's go ahead and delete that. Boom, it's gone. Redirects, again, we're gonna wanna put a little message that flashes up on the screen that says, hey, it was deleted successfully or something, because otherwise this feels a little weird. It just disappears and we have no sort of uh, satisfaction that it's actually gone except for we saw it. And if this page had hundreds of these venues listed, you know, we might not see it disappear. So we wanna flash something up there. We'll look at that in the next video. It's pretty easy to do messages, but this video is getting a little bit long, so we'll go ahead and just stop it at that. So. 
That's how you delete things. Really, really simple. We can delete from events, we can delete from venues, we can delete from anything we want. And again, it's just as easy as, well, creating a little link for it. But then in your views, just naming the thing you want to delete, looking it up by its ID number. We look up everything by their primary key numbers because those are unique numbers that are used to identify things in the database, right? So we use them for updating things and deleting things, and that makes sense. So we're gonna take that ID, we're gonna use it to look it up, the venue object, and then assign it to this variable. Then we just call the delete function here. This is built into Django, I suppose, just venue.delete. Boom, that will delete it from the database, save everything, and we just redirect back to whatever page we want. Just that easy. So the only other piece in this is the URL, which is, again, sort of something we've seen before by passing these IDs into the URL. We did it earlier when we updated, so and also when we showed. So that's pretty easy. Then we just call the view like we always do, name the thing, and that's it. So that's how you delete items from your database with Django. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codingme.com where you can use coupon code UG1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codingme.com, and I'll see you in the next video.